My name is Jeff Stoutland. I'm the offensive line coach at the University of Alabama. I feel blessed to be here at the University of Alabama and work with such a great group of offensive linemen. The drills that you're about to see we utilize to make sure that the offense runs efficiently. Let's take a look at those drills. It's all about balance if you're going to be an offensive lineman. So make your players move. Make them move with their hands. As they move, grab the ground. See right here, you see the heels come up in the air? You're not looking for that. Get all the weight on the inside balls of the feet and grab the ground with your entire foot. These nice small steps, nothing real big, because remember this now, defensive guys are going to be rushing into you. If, you're, if you take too big of a step or stride, he'll catch you with one foot in the ground. This is a slide set. And this would be a set that, if you're working a zone side of a protection, where the players actually take a little bit of a flat set now, a little bit wider set. You see the hand placement now is a little wider. But understand this, there's somebody coming from the inside out to help and to take away any threat to the ins inside. Make sure when you're doing these type of drills that after you make contact, right here 66 has got a great balance. All the weight falls to his hips, his knees, and his ankles. Teaching protection. Okay, your shoe set. Always make sure the uh, defensive player rushes on the, towards the outside. Make him go the distance. Make him run around you. So you notice the offensive lineman here placing their outside hand to the sternum. Making, taking the inside half of the player, defensive player. Okay, sticks. If you don't have sticks, just grab, take your hands and grab onto the sh uh, outside part of the shoulder, the round part of the shoulder. You don't have to have sticks, but the sticks are better. Make sure there's plenty of room in between the groups, the pairings, so you don't whack each other with the stick. Okay, what the purpose of the drill is, is to push and then pull. Push and then pull. And what you're trying to do is take the offensive man. The offensive man is facing out for, away from the building. You would like to try to take him right there. You see the pull? Take him out of balance which is simulating a defensive lineman slapping and punching and pulling and grabbing an offensive lineman as he's trying to pass block. So always trying to maintain the center of gravity and balance is the purpose of the drill with the sticks. See right here, we're getting pulled on our toes. This is a good drill to feel balance. Get back to the center of balance. Defensive player, you have to work the drill. You have to be violent on the stick to try to pull the the offensive player out of balance. Again, you don't only have to do this in pair, two pairs, you can do it four and five guys across, but give yourself plenty of room. Push and pull and work lateral. Keep the entire foot in the ground, get all the weight on the inside balls of the feet. You feel yourself getting pulled forward as an offensive player, sit your tail down and pull your head out. Fit and finish. This is a great drill. It's basically breaking down the block. Say, so for instance, how many guys have trouble blocking the second level as a linebacker? Well, this would be simulating block, getting up to the linebacker level and now block the linebacker and run. Getting up to the linebacker, block the backer and run. That's a good drill. Block the linebacker and run. It's also good for interior linemen as they try to disengage and get to the football. You got to work the right hand, right half side of your body, and the left hand half side of your body. Explosion drill. We love the word explosion. We love the roll of hips. Tight hands on the bag. Keep the hands very tight. Get your feet in the ground and, and roll the hips. Explode at the hip. The next drill is a half line drill. Now we're getting into the combination blocks. Okay, so if you work the outside zone play, this would be a play, this would be a drill that you'd like to do, a half line drill to the open side. Working your angles and your targets. If you're working the inside zone play, obviously your target changes. And that's what this drill is all about here. As we, when you have a half line drill, you have three players, 
and there's really only two players working in combination. So the other thing I like about this drill is don't tell them what the technique is. Tell them the name of the play and make them call out the technique because that's what's going to have to happen in the game. They're not only working on their technique, they're working on their assignment or their technique calls at the line. You know, you all have line calls. Here's when you get a chance to make them. Hat placement, hand placement. Your, run, your offensive lineman should marry up. Your departure angle should marry up with the running back's departure angle. So here you see a wider play, a wider zone track. That ball should be outside right now. Inside run. This is a play you do as an offensive line without backs. This is prior to, to an actual 9-on-7 drill. And this is just working, again, without, shoulder, without pads, just working the, the play call, the technique calls up in front. There's a lot of communication that happens as an offensive lineman. This is the drill you would do, putting it all, culminating a half-line drill and putting it all together while you make your calls up front. Again, a lot of times you don't have time for individual, so this is the time to work your technique as well as your assignment. You're putting it all together. You also have the ability to change the front. So you can go from an odd front to an even front to an under front. You could slant and angle the front, which is going to alter and change surface angles and targets. Okay, the half line run drill, we pick, take the individual part of our drills and now we put it into a group segment and we split the offensive line in half. We have what we call a tight end side run game and then we'll have a weak side run game.